Transformations in geometry. Basically what they are is changing an original size, shape, or position of a figure to create a new image. So you're going to start with something and you're going to change it in some way and end up with a new image. Now there's four types of transformations. The first type is a dilation. And dilation is taking a figure and either enlarging it or making it smaller and reducing it. But you're going to keep the dimensions, those ratios, the same. So you're going to create similar figures. The second type, rotations. So you're going to start with the figure and then picking a point and a, an amount, you're going to rotate that figure. So you're not going to change its size or its shape. The next type is a translation or sliding it. So basically you're going to have a figure and you're going to slide it in some direction. And the last type of transformation is a reflection or flipping it. So with a reflection, you're going to need a line that you're reflecting. So notice here I reflected this triangle over this dotted line. Certain transformations are more specifically described and we call those isometries. An isometry is a transformation where the original shape and new image are congruent. Another way of saying this is to call it a rigid transformation. Not rigid, but rigid transformation. So only three transformations are isometries. Rotations, I'm going to write an I, are isometries. Translations are isometries. And reflections. The reason why dilations are not isometries is because you're changing the size of the shape. So these two are never going to be congruent when you have a dilation, unless your scale factor is equal to 1. How do we describe translations? Well, we're going to use an arrow to show the original image going to our new image. So if you just made one transformation, you would write this as triangle ABC maps onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. And I've written that down below. So those little apostrophes actually mean prime. Let's say you did another transformation. Then that would become triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. So every time you go through a transformation, you're going to have one more prime on each of your vertices. So keeping this in mind, you can perform any type of transformation. 